In this session, we're going to look at how we can use Civil 3D to override CAD attributes with other display attributes based on multiple criteria. On my screen, I've got a sample project. I'd like to start by changing styles. That's probably one of the quickest ways to override properties. For example, I'm going to select this existing ground surface. I'll come over to my properties palette and I'll change the style from existing to proposed. And you can see that automatically adjusts all the properties of those objects, puts them on the appropriate layer as an override. Let me select the surface again. I'll come back and we'll change the style here back to existing ground. So that's probably the quickest way to override properties. Let's look at another way. I can adjust the layer settings. I'm going to come over to the layer dialog box and I'm going to click in here. I'll press Control A to select all the layers and let's change the layer color of all of these to cyan. I'll click OK. You can see the difference on screen. Let's come back over to layers. As long as these are all selected, let's change the line weight. I'll click the line weight. We'll make this maybe 0.5 and I'll click OK. You can see the difference. Now we can save these layer states. Let me open up the layers panel and it says unsaved layer state. I'm going to come down and choose new. I'm going to call this cyan heavy and I'll click OK. Now let's put things back the way they were. I can open the layers panel and I'll click layer previous. One time takes away the line weight. Another time takes away the color change. In fact, as long as we're at it, let's go ahead and save this state too. I'll say new layer state and I'll call this original and I'll click OK. Now at any point I can open up the menu and I can flip this to cyan heavy or I can flip it back to original depending on how I want to work. Let's pan this up. Let's make some changes using a selection. I'm going to select some geometry here and then I'm going to come over to the properties palette. Let me go to the color and you can see that I can easily adjust the properties based on a selection. I could do that with color, line type, line weight. Let's make the change based on a filter. In the properties palette I can bring up the quick select dialog box. Let's apply this to a selection. We'll select all of this content and I can say the object type I'm looking for is um, multi-leaders. I want all multi-leaders whose color property currently equals by layer. You can see those are all selected. Once they're selected I could come over to my properties palette and I could start adjusting the properties. So, you know we could make these red, we could make them green, cyan, blue, magenta. Once again I can do that with color. I could do it with, um, let's do line weight. Start dragging this down, you can see the difference. Okay, so I can override properties based on a physical selection or a selection based on criteria. Let's jump out to the title block. Out here I can see the same geometry in two different viewports. I can override the properties of the layer properties from one viewport as opposed to another. For example, let me double click in this viewport and I'm going to go to the layer properties. Notice that we have layer name, some of the layer settings here. We can see color, line type, line weight, transparency. If I drag this down I have another full set of layer properties. All of these start with VP, stands for viewport. This is how I can override the properties in a viewport. Let me select one layer. I'm going to press Control A to grab all of these and then I'm going to come down to the viewport color. Let me click and I'm going to change this to an RGB value. Let me go ahead and click OK double click out here and you can see the difference. So I'm able to override the properties um, between viewports if I want to. Now if I double click in this viewport after making some changes we go over to the layer properties dialog box you'll see that the overridden viewport layers are shaded in blue. This shows me that uh, the properties that have been overridden. Now I'm going to click in here I'll do a control A. Let me right click and from here I can come down and say remove viewport overrides for all layers in current viewport only. And this is how I can put things back the way they were. So I can override using a style. I can override using my layer settings. I can override within viewports. I can also override based on a physical selection or a filtered selection.